Well, let's get going with Groover and Clarendon. Clarendon looking pretty good this year. Running back Cody Haro with a nice pickup for more than 10 yards. Clarendon was already up in this one, or excuse me, was tied when we got there. Clarendon quarterback Chance McAneer with a run of his own on the option. He picks up 10 more. Looks like someone got away with a face mask in the middle of that. I don't know, so don't call it. But it's Haro and McAneer. The nice option play, 12 yard touchdown run for Haro Clarendon with a big victory in this one, 33 to 19. Wellington and Vega. The Longhorns and the Sky Rockets. Oh, pretty. Speaking of sky, that's a beautiful shot there. Uh, kudos to our photographer, whoever that was. I think that was, I think that was our man Jordan. Had to have been. Reagan, good job, buddy. Speaking of good job, Trey Tarbit with a nice pickup. Then Colton Luster. Nice. Woo! Was that a Tebow flip? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I like it. Back in Tebow flip. And then Vega. Payson Bain. Look at the game by Bain. I didn't even mean to try and rhyme right there. 31 yards on the pickup. Then Jake Jones, a nice 30 yard gain of his own. The Longhorns taking them in chunks, but it would be the Skyrockets who took the victory 39 to 21. Skyrockets in flight, New Deal in Farwell, in Farwell. Let's take you there in the first, VJ Gomez. And he, after a very impressive run, takes it into the end zone for the touchdown. He'd score on the play. Now, you see, this confused me earlier. This is the touchdown by Gomez. That was actually two plays there. There's your touchdown, and New Deal takes the lead. Farwell has the ball now. Kurt Langford's, we're gonna show you, is actually eight to nothing at this point. Kurt Langford's for the Steers. A nice little short run on the play. Breaking tackles, they finally bring him down, and. We see him on the ground. He's also a pretty good receiver. Over the middle there, makes a tough catch in traffic. Multi-talented. Now let's try Colton Morris for a little short gain on the play as Farwell bulls their way up for a nice gain on the play. Colin Christian runs this one in for the touchdown and Farwell gets the win, 40 to 24, your final there. Booker and Claw, here we go, in Claw. Little lots Mustang. Of, lots of little Mustang fans out there. And how about the Mustang defense here? It's fourth and goal for Booker, incomplete. Turnover on downs, big play for the Claude defense, but they're on their own two, and Seth Skarky can't find any time here. And Booker comes up with a big defensive play, a safety, a 16 to six lead. The signature call. And Matt, after a safety, they get the ball back. Which would prove After the kick for on, Booker. Hunter Lyle, he has it, can't find anybody. Lyle around the outside, and he gets right there into the end zone, right at the end of the play. Booker takes a 23 to six lead before half, a big play in the game, and Booker goes on to get the win in clock, 51 to 14. I must admit that was me, and I feared for my ACL. Shamrock visiting San Jacinto. The Fighting Irish's Tyler Whitley keeps it on the option, and he takes it in the end zone, 32 to 12. Shamrock up big in the third quarter. And then San Jacinto on the ensuing drive, snap goes over, Aaron balances his head. Patriots would recover, but would also have to punt ensuing drive it's ethan burton this time taking the toss sweep around the left side and jacob i don't even think san jacinto touched him that's speed baby that's pure speed and he gets into the end zone 39 to 12 shamrock at that point they would go on to win this one by 46 to 26 your final stratford and littlefield stratford fourth and three but reese Rogers with the big stop for Littlefield, then seconds left in the half when Demadric Moore trying to get something going for Littlefield, but is stuffed by Chase Lutz. The Elk defense coming up big there, but Littlefield too much for Stratford in this one. 27 to 21, Littlefield gets the victory in this one. Stratford with their first stumble. We'll have to see how they react to it. That's a tough, tough game in Littlefield. Memphis over White Deer. 39 to 8, the Cyclones, big winners tonight. Quana like and Henrietta. Cyclone. We didn't get a score for that one, so Quana fans, let us know how this game turned out. We'll have to check Facebook and some things like that to get that result. Let's get some six man scores. Cress, Blanking, the Mustangs of Holy Cross, Happy and Follette. Still no score. Sorry about that. Uh, check online. Go to newschannel10wrapup.com. We'll try and have that score for you. Silverton, the Owls get a big win over the McLean Tigers. 
Miami and LaForce. The Warriors outlasting the Pirates 62 to 50. Nazareth and Ropes. Nazareth still adjusting to that six man type game. Ropes, the veterans of the six man game, they get the victory 64 to 46. Motley County and Paducah. The Matadors outlast the Dragons by two. A close margin of victory that for the Matadors. That is a big time six man matchup. Those guys always state contenders, it seems. You know who else is, Matt? Valley. They're good. 89 points. Proves that uh, as they take down the Crow Wildcats. And then Higgins and Groom. Groom trying to prove that they're Groom, a state. Groom's been crushing people this year. Tiger pride, baby. Groom's been crushing people. Better look out if you're in the six-man ranks. Don't sleep on the Groom Tigers. Hart and Headley. The Headley Owls hand it to the Hart Longhorn 48-6. to six. And Jacob, the six-man action continues to be wild. Up and down the board, big scores, which we should expect from six-man, but 80 points in three games this week? 80 to nothing. Ooh. Groom looks good. That's okay. not just offense, that's defense, too. We got a ton more. We got New Mexico. We got Oklahoma. We got our Battle of the Bands Hit of the Week, Play of the Week. So much more to come on the Awards, wrap -up. baby! We'll do it next.